evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. And Slicknell says, hello, YouTube. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, um, uh, we are still on the mission of uh, gathering up things for, um, uh, what's it, for the, the intense axis. Because we, we, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on in. Come on, come. Are, are you okay? Are you are you just gonna hang out there then? Hmm. Okay. Well. Um. Here we go. Let's go over here. I did not get light bulbs last time. Uh, oh, let's do let's do that first. Let's go over to the light bulbs and then. Here he is. Here he is. Hi, slick. Get in, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Is there just like some major lag or something? I think there might be some major lag or something going on. So I don't, I don't know. And while I'm away from my base, I apologize for this. Um, I'm going to blacklist everyone. I don't want you guys like jumping around and, and doing stuff. Even Slick Mills, he just got blacklisted. Uh, I should have done that yesterday, which I didn't, but I should have. Um, whenever you're not near your base, blacklist everyone. That way, they're not jumping onto your base and they can't do the glitches and stuff like that while you're away. Oh, a lot of people have still been asking me, like, Code, how do I prevent somebody from stealing from me? Um, first things first is your channel's on the ropes. <laughs> Lies. But okay. <laughs> the always blacklist somebody or always blacklist everyone that way they can't get onto your base while you're away and uh, <laughs> barely one video barely 1k per video but okay 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 uh right have fun um the Oh my gosh, that just really made me mad. <laughs> it's all jokes. <gasps> okay, okay. That's not nice. That's not a joke. You don't diss somebody about their channel ever. Don't you ever do that to anyone. Oh my gosh. Now I'm all flustered. What was I talking about? The light bulbs. Uh, no, blacklisting. Make sure that you always blacklist somebody uh, whenever you're away from your... Oh, come on. Uh, whenever you are away from your base Because you don't want them being able to get on your base and glitch a lot of people have been asking um, Hey code. I had somebody steal a bunch of stuff from me. Um, they They took all of my base. They took everything they used scripts and they, they hacked me and then I asked them Did you whitelist them and it's usually yes? Well, yeah, he, I, he said I was going to give me money for this item that I sold him Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, and it's going to hurt your feelings, and you're going to be sad about it, but there's nothing that can be done, because there's this huge little warning right here that says, whitelisted players can steal from you. Period. That's There's no arguing that point right there. Whitelisted players can steal from you, no matter what. Whether it's by script, whether they knock it off your base and, and just take it. Um, if you whitelist someone, you give them authority to take anything and everything off of your base. Okay? So don't. <laughs> don't whitelist anyone. That's, that's all I can tell you. Because that's all there is. So for everyone who has ever asked me and who comes to me all the time and says, Code, hey, can you tell Defaultio about this? No, I can't. Um, I understand your concern and you can absolutely go and tweet to him. But the only thing you can do is report the person for cheating, hacking, exploiting, whatever you want to call it. Don't call it hacking. For cheating and exploiting. Um, and that's that's beyond it. That's it. That's all you can do. If you whitelisted the person and they stole your entire base, that's on you. You whitelisted the person. You were warned. So, I know, it sounds so harsh. But it's happened to me, okay? So don't feel t terribly bad. I've done it before. I've whitelisted somebody and they stole my entire base with scripts. 
In fact, I think we saw it on live stream, or it was, it was either live stream or it was uh, something else. It was a video, maybe. <sighs> Anyhow, <clears throat> I was very lucky that Defaultio even did anything about that incident because it happened to be in the public eye and he saw it and like there was documentation of what had happened but even then he goes you do know that you whitelisted him I'm like yeah I know it's like okay just so you know you were warned okay I was dumb and I did that I whitelisted someone and I've heard it all kinds of stories I've heard stories of well we've been friends for three years and and do you know the person in real life no um then how okay the dynamic of an online friendship or an online relationship of any kind is much different when you don't know that actual person i mean online they could act like your absolute bestest friend and then one day take off with all of your stuff and never contact you again and there would be no remorse or anything on their end because they wouldn't have to confront you. You got it, dude? <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. <sighs> I think I had, um... Six? I don't remember. There might might have been six. I grabbed uh, a bunch last time. Two, four, six. It may have been three. But that's also because it was slow. Um, one more. One more should do! Do, 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 do. That's the that's the one thing I don't like about the fancy furnishing shop is um, the fact that you have to wait till a certain time of day. Oh my goodness! <sighs> to come in here and grab grab the the thing <clears throat> oh did I buy it buy the light bulb yes please thank you okay so I purchased both can I lift both carry them out gently easy no it fell down okay <laughs> Now, Slick, if you buy that, you can't really put it into the back of my car because it's it will slidey slide around. <laughs> it's still Spookwood time. It's still time to search for the amazing Spookwood. And off we go. I think he knows. Uh, hold, hold on. <laughs> See you back on main. <laughs> And off he goes into the wild blue yonder. Flying high into the sky. Hey, I heard uh, Siniac was back in town. Is he uh, Is he doing lumber now? Is he coming back around now that there's been updates? I don't know. I'll have to have to go check out his uh, new video that dropped. So, a little cross-reference for Siniac. You're welcome, buddy. Not that you need my help. Thing. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that sounded salty. No, it wasn't. It was all in good fun. I watch Cineax videos, so I just I haven't gotten a chance to see his his lumber one today, <sighs> which would be yesterday to you guys because I'm talking to the future, to the future use. <laughs> Wait, I did pick up light bulbs, didn't I? Hold up. Hold up. <gasps> I did pick up light bulbs. I'm so amazing. I only picked up three, though. So, hold on. One, two. No, I only picked up two. What? Okay, hold up. So, I've got six, seven, eight. Three. Let's see. Eight, seven, six, five. I need to pick up five more. Of the um, the other ones, the the things, the worms. Five more worms, and 
eight sandbags, right? For a total of eight rookie axes. Why didn't I grab nine? I mean, I've got room in my inventory for nine, so I should grab nine. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Stock up with nine for the year. I mean, I'll be, I'll be good with nine. You guys might do more than that. Who knows? Um, here, let's go. Let's go do that real quick. Let's get uh, sandbags. I like the way your house looks, dude. Hold up. Can I drive on that? Oh, I totally can. Hold up. I, I just want to see if it works. I just want to see if it works. I'll go respawn if it doesn't. Oh, 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 up and over, up and over, up and over. Go wee! Woo, that was awesome! <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> I like your house. <laughs> it's a fun little wonderland. <clears throat> Walking in a winter wonderland. <clears throat> Hi, Tom. Hello, Code. How are you this fine evening? I'm I'm good, Tom. I was wondering if you have any sandbags. Why, yes, I have plenty in stock. I don't know why you kids buy these things. Well, you know about the smugglers' den, right? I heard that the smugglers were in town, but I've never found their location. Well, it's because you never leave the shop, Tom. This is true. I should leave sometime and seek them out. I hear they've got trades of other lands. Uh, they do. Um, and I'll let you in on a little secret. They really like sand. One of them loves sand. Oh, is that why you guys buy the sand all the time? Yes. <laughs> Strange. I was just talking with Corey the other day, and he said that you were in there buying light bulbs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because the light bulbs look like uh, ice cream cones, and one, one of the... Smuggler's Den, guys. He loves ice cream. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think you've got it posted here in your shop. Hold on. Um, here. Right, right over here, Tom. It says, uh, rumors about Zalorakith. Zalorak is too kind not to offer other people the restroom before him even if he really has to go. Also, eats sand. What? That's in my shop? Yeah, it's in, in the back there. It just... Somebody has posted it. I've been working here for over 12 years. I've been working here for over 10 years. I've never seen that. Well, you should check out your shop more often. I restock them every day. Oh, yeah. I never see you move from that spot, though. You're just so fast at restocking. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was kind of monologuing there. <laughs> oh, fill in the gaps in between the, the conversations and the, the long spaces from where um, the video would normally be cut if I didn't have anything else to say. Mm. By the way, I think we're ready for another... Sawmill. Something new. Something cool. Maybe a better chop saw. Maybe a maybe a laser saw. Ooh. No, you gotta make it something something that can be feasibly real. Wait, did he just say it again? Your channel is on the ropes, though, to be honest. <laughs> Keep it up. You'll get blocked. <laughs> Never hear you again. Block the haters. <laughs> it it's <laughs> it will be on video though. So <laughs> you got that going for you. <laughs> Oh, did he leave? He left. Dad, you... Uh, you're a nice person. And you should be nice in lumber. 
Hmm. And I'm not one to to deny it. My videos only get about a thousand, two thousand, five thousand views per video. I understand that. But you know what? I'm not going for the views. Which I probably should. I, I should probably clickbait the poop out of all my videos, but I don't. And I understand. And the same thing happened whenever I was going for the the what is it? The star program. And I'll be completely honest, it threw me for a loop that they didn't answer me for nine months. And this is this is me talking from the heart and actually being real about my channel. I don't do YouTube full time. I am not a full time YouTuber. This is not the main income. I wasn't doing this for me. I was doing this for my kids. And I don't mind that they're growing up and they're not interested in this kind of content anymore. I'm okay with that. There's a lot of other people out there who are. And there's a lot of other people who listen to the messages that I deliver to you in a fun and friendly manner. And we talk about things that are very profound sometimes. I mean, we talk about suicide and self-harm and um, mental health. Okay, so don't get me wrong. Yes, my channel gets low views. I don't mind. Because... For every hate comment that I get, for every person that says, what's your channel dying or something? No, my channel's not dying. In fact, it's been growing constantly for over four or five years now. And it's a constant growth. And it's growing every day. And I'm okay with its speed. I don't want to be one of those fast channels that blows up overnight and then all of a sudden has no content to deliver to you and is nothing more than clickbait and edited videos that have very little to no meaning behind their actualities of why they exist. If you go to like every single one of my videos, with the exception of one or two, maybe, every single one of them, there's something to learn. There's something that I give you. And the fact that I'm talking about that in a video right now is very out of context to normal YouTubers. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> so, sorry, that, that comment the guy said, it really did bug me. I shouldn't let it bug me. And I'll be fine. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, geez, what am I doing? How many of them bought? One, two, three, four, five, Six. O M H. O M H. O M H. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, you were trying to say, "Oh my gosh, O M G," because H and G are right next to each other. Your finger slipped. You're like, ah! Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Wait, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven, eight. I need two more. <laughs> Yo! Is this actually code primate? Yes. Yes, Queen, it is. See, and it's for moments like that that I don't mind that I've got low views. Especially whenever you get recognized inside Lumber like all the time. I'm okay with that. We've only been recording for 18 minutes. Thank you, Tom. I really appreciate it. We need just one more. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Come on, get over there. There we go. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Um, by the way, if you have a channel and you get very low views and you just feel like you're not growing, keep with it, okay? 15, 30 minutes every single day. Record with the voice. Make sure that you're actually recording and not typing out on screen like, hello. You lumber YouTube people. I don't like reading videos. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves, especially when you get on there and then all of a sudden notepad pops up. I'm like, oh great, it's gonna be one of these videos again. <coughs> and don't get me wrong, it's a nice place to start and you know, getting used to it, but you need to get used to like talking on the mic. Dang, I can tell because he's signed tower. It looks exactly like the one from his videos. It's him. <laughs> Slick Mills is like, dude, it's it's cold. <laughs> All right, there we go. And, oh, oh, come on, come on. 
There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Here we go. I've got eight, 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 nine, ten. A big fat hen. Eleven, twelve. Farmer and a delve. Thirteen, fourteen. And boop. And a oop. And a whoop. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Code, if you need spook wood, I got you and some. Some in and some berries. <clears throat> Thank you. Is it really you? Yes. It's me. <laughs> I'm about to fly. <laughs> Did you want a selfie? Jeez. Hold on. Right there. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Super please. Oh my gosh, it's code. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh. My eyes have been kind of bugging me lately. <laughs> this is wonderful. Dude, you're gonna really freak out whenever you find out that you're on a video. <laughs> so fan <laughs> when I see you find a glass of one of your videos <laughs> he's like yeah I'm a fan <laughs> well thank you so much for being a fan huge shout out to D Benalo D Benalo I hope I said that right oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh there we go straighten it out code straighten it out I'm just gonna go up here and go over there. Everywhere. Underwear. Wait, what? <clears throat> no underwear. <clears throat> Wait, what? No, 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 that's not. <laughs> over here. Over there. Over here. Over there. Everywhere. <clears throat> Have blank, blank, blank yet snow. Have blank, blank, blank yet. Code primate, no need to look for wood. I can load my base and give you some spook. That's not the point. This, the point is to find the spook wood. That's the point. Like I've, I've got plenty of spook wood on, uh, on my other bases. If I, if I wanted to, like my entire house roof is built out of um oh i see you slick right over there see where the the mouse is pointing <gasps> no don't let go oh gosh where did it go no 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 <laughs> you gotta hold on to what we got please don't think i'm stealing from your plot I left my glass and it means a lot to me. Ready or not. Oh, I'm flying on glass. <clears throat> Whoa. <clears throat> Listen up, class. Take your glass. Grab onto it. Fly with me. There's nothing to it. <laughs> there he goes. He's a fallen. I fall to pieces. Uh, hey, Slick, did you check the, the swamp? Hold on, I need to ask him. Did you check swamp? Oh, I, can't, I can't even spell swamp, right? I need to ask him. Okay. He says yes. Dude. That was some wicked physics going on there. <laughs> Crazy. Wait. Did I just see... I think I just saw a tree falling. Yeah. It, it had to have been a dead tree or something. Alright. Keep going. <clears throat> By the way, guys, I just started 
exploiting. Please don't report me. I'm a good one. Uh, I do not fling stuff around. <sighs> There's a billion nukes going off in my head. <laughs> Just don't let me see it and I won't report you. <laughs> That's the only way you can actually report somebody is if you physically see them doing an exploit. Otherwise, it's just hearsay. Like, well, he he could have. I saw his base. He had tons of stuff on his base. That's not proof that he exploited it. I have tons of stuff on my base, and I've never exploited. Now, I'm also not naive, and I probably can assume that most of that stuff had to be duplicated at one point or another. And the fact that I've got uh, fire axes, and I wasn't here for the original fire axe giving out. Like, but still... <clears throat> hmm. I don't see it anywhere. And you know what? Um, using a glitch is not exploiting. <clears throat> what I mean is, whenever you see me glitch through walls and whenever you see me do little things like that, like flying on a piece of glass, this is something that everyone can do. It does not require an external program to change the actual scripts of the, per the the game itself or the client. So this, what I'm doing right now, is not against the rules. Okay? It's called exploiting a glitch, which is not exploiting as in the term. Hmm. Hmm. It's not cheating. It's non-reportable. <clears throat> I mean, you could report it if you wanted to, but I mean, it's not going to get you anywhere because it's it's something that can be done inside the game and everybody has access to. The thing that causes exploiting to become a bad thing is it giving a player an advantage that not all players has. The ability to run at any given time, that is an exploit. That is not something that you can do just from being here. And it's against the rules. Teleporting to Spookwood. That one is making me mad at the moment because I've got a whole bunch of people who are trying to find Spookwood and here you are just boop teleport to it that are jumping and boop there's 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 no Spookwood here. Dude, do you know how long I searched for Spookwood? And then to find out that somebody's just jumping around all the serve Oh <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh gosh, oh gosh! Uh shoot! Shoot! Uh Wait! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> oh no! I was just trying to do the thing. Ugh, okay. <laughs> okay, I only have two minutes left. It's 20, 28 minutes to the hour. Oh, I feel bad now. Am I in the same one? I'm not even in the same server anymore. So, oh gosh, I feel bad. Cancel close. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hello, fan. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. And remember, avoid the hate and, and be nice to everyone. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.